Hello, hi, it's Liz here and it's What Not Day. I think we're at number seven um, and today I thought uh, we would go a little bit mixed media. Nothing fancy, just a little bit texture paste and a little bit inking and a little bit stamping. So still very quick and easy. Um, this is, um, it's like watercolour paper. Um, there we are. Um, wait, I'll just show you. It's actually mixed media paper. Mixed media. But you could use any paper and give it a coat of clear gesso to make it, because we're going to add some water. Um, um, yeah, you could do that if you didn't have any watercolour paper or mixed media paper. So we'll just fire ahead and use the texture paste. This is Dela Rowney texture paste. And I've picked out three stencils. I've picked these out because the patterns are quite small. Um, if you had to use a big pattern on these little circles, then I'm not sure that this would work all that well. I'm not going to use anything to um, to keep it in place. We'll just leave that to to luck. So that's the first one done. Some diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. So we see. <laughs> Okay, we're done with that. We will look at it, sit it there just now, and we will do another one. And I'm going to use this kind of a uh, florally kind of stencil. Thought that was quite pretty. And for the final one, we will use this kind of geometric, kind of stars type one. So you can see how fast this is. Now the only thing that's not going to make it fast is the drying time. But a quick, careful blast of a heat gun. would do the trick. There we are. I like that one, it's a nice one. Right, let's just wipe off that excess. Let's try not to get too messy. Although it's a bit of fun getting messy. So, because these are whatnots and I don't like to spend too much time we will we will put that put that against there. We will use these ones that are already dry. So let's just put these aside up there. And once they are dry, I'll have a second lot. So these are the ones that are already dry. So that you can see how the pattern are nice, nice, nice. Right, so let's add a little bit of colour, a little bit of ink. I've got Dilusions ink sprays here, but you can use any spray, any ink, even get your ink pad and squish the ink pad on. Um, yeah, so anything water-based at all. Now, my squishers aren't working. Oh, it's going to prove me wrong. They weren't working a minute ago, but they seem to be working now. Don't need too much. I'll leave that there. Oh, they are working. Now, it was a purple when I tried. Oh, yeah. Well, they 
maybe they just needed and you will get messy <laughs> now i'm going to add a little bit of water and then we are going to get uh, that's not the right ones let's use these ones and just with the textured side down let's see how this works out i don't want it to be muddy is it going to go in between i might have to Hmm. I've put the colours too close to it's going muddy right okay so let's not do that let me think let's see if we can salvage this Okay, all is not lost. Let's just scoop this up and do it one colour at a time. Right. And the water is here. better okay so the trick there is to do one color at a time let's do the green over here some water Okay, so let's go with the, now this might seem quite, wa whoa, wasteful, the napkin avalanche, but I'm going to mop that up because I don't have room to put another colour down. Right, the purple. Now I want them all to be two toned, so we can use the purple of this blue. Yay, that's better. Okay, now am I done with the purple? Let's try some teal. Run away lid. do with this I think we will do 
the tulle again. Yeah. Right, so let's set them on something clean to the side and let them dry. Happy with them, and we'll get on with some stamping. I have managed to get ink everywhere. <laughs> right, that'll be tidy up. So, stamping. I have some stamps here. I have a daisy, a butterfly and a cute little bird. So we will stamp these out. using my Versafine Onyx Black. I only want the daisy part of the flower. And it's Stampin' Unicorn Clear Stamps Daisy Friends. And the little bird is Hero Arts Clings. And he's called... What's he called? Little Fancy Bird. <laughs> little Fancy Bird, that's what he's called. Right, I'm only going to stamp the daisy because I have them all stamped already and fussy cut out. So, stamp the daisy and we'll give it a little bit of colour just to show you how I coloured it in. So let's not spray because we only need a little bit of this. And a little bit of water. And a paintbrush. And you smooch it on. So you can see how easy. I'm not even fussed about not going over the lines. Um, and I think with that, I mixed a tiniest wee bit of the purple just to give it right let's see another napkin and we can just smoosh that in just gives it a little bit of depth so that's it coloured. Right, there's the lid. Lid on. Done with the inks. We've got our three. And simply cut around that. Okay, next step is to see how these are getting on. And I think we might give them a wee dab. Don't want to take too much of the colour off. But I want to show you the end result. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, we had fun today. We had fun today. Because my heat gun is away at the back of the cupboard and I'm really not 
up for getting it out. So this is just chalk inks. And I just thought we would go around the edges just to give it a little bit of definition. So I've got purple and I've got teal. And I've got a yellow, yellow orangey colour. These are quite good because you don't need to transfer the ink on a like a spongy thing to go around the edges and you just get the same effect. There we are. This will be the last circles. No, there's one more. There's one more circle. Right, so now to decide. Let's take them off the messy mat. We'll put the messy mark on top of the bundle of used napkins. Let's see what goes nice where. It doesn't show up there. That, I think. I hope you can see the texture and the, the inkiness of it all and yeah, happy with that. Right, I'm going to use this glue because I think on that inky textured background, the, um, the glue stick I don't think would do the trick. And we'll just have that one coming off the edge like that. It's nice. And I'm not one for plonking things in the middle, but somehow that goes in the middle. So yes, there is one round what not left. One circle one. I have an idea for the last circle one and that will be next Sunday and then we'll move on to another shape for a little bit of a change. Right, so let's move things out the way and I have my what not plate and my little what not book. I hope I don't get it all inky. <laughs> so this is the book that I've decided to put one of each what not in. So last week we did the belly band which I'm really quite tickled with. It's lovely. Um, so we've got one for here. So let's decide Would you know they're all nice, aren't they? I like the bird. I like the bird, but I like the daisy. Hmm. I think maybe the daisy goes. I think I'm going to have the daisy. <laughs> but I'm not sticking it down just now because I quite like to take my photograph for the um, for the video at the end, the photograph I put on. I quite like because if I put it over there and those two were just, it wouldn't look right in the photograph. So that's where it's going to go anyway. So I hope you enjoyed a bit of messy fun today. And um, yeah, so that's this week's what not. I'm off to get the ink scrubbed off my fingers before I do my unboxing of my Your Creative Studio box has just arrived. So um, I'm going to unbox that and uh, 
Thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video, an inky thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.